Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change your default save locations in Windows and why you may or may not want to do it. So by save locations I mean uh, you know for documents and pictures and where apps are installed and that kind of thing. So by default, you know, let's say open a Word document, it's going to want to save within your documents folder. Uh, same with like an Excel spreadsheet and that kind of thing. So on this computer here, we have a C drive and we have a D drive, which has nothing on it, or an F drive, I should say, with nothing on it. So if we go to the uh, Windows settings, so you go to settings, and then storage, and then advanced storage settings. In Windows 10, you don't go to advanced storage settings. You just It'll have an option for uh, where new content is saved. So it's pretty much the same path to get there. So right now, everything, you know, for apps and documents, music, so on, set to C. So let's say we were to set the uh, apps to go to this F drive, click apply. So you'll notice now it automatically puts some uh, information here, a user folder, Windows apps, and a programs files folder. Now let's say we're going to go to the Microsoft store and download, let's say, this Microsoft jigsaw puzzle here. Click on get. So now it shows there's an error, and that's because of this change here. So now, let's say I want to uh, delete these. Let's say I want to change this back, first of all. And now I want to go in and delete all this junk that I put in there. So do a shift delete. It says you need administrator permission. Let's click on continue. So I can't delete these files here. So now you're stuck with these files on this drive here. And even if you go to format it, so let's uh, right click on this. This is that uh, F drive and click format. So we'll stick with the defaults here, click OK. Let me close Explorer actually. So it's says currently in use, it's important and you need to force it. And you say yes, and then you could actually get rid of it that way. So you have to force format it, and then you'll have this cleared. Okay, so now moving on to documents, let's change this to F and click apply. We're not going to go through all these, so by the way, just a few. Okay, so now we have this username and documents with nothing in it. So what if we go to Word? Actually, before we do that, let's go back to uh, the jigsaw. And now you can see the uh, installation is working just fine because we changed it back to the C drive. So we'll let that run there. Okay, open up Word. Do a new blank document here. Test. File. Save. Don't care about that. Now, by default, it's not going to want to... If, if Let's say we pick up Browse and we go to... Uh, Documents, already have a test file there, and click Save. It's not in this documents, it's in the documents on the uh, C drive under your username. So that didn't actually do anything, but let's say we open up a WordPad. And do a Save. See, it's going to want to save it to that new uh, new drive on the F drive and then Todd's and Documents. And let's do uh, Now go back to here. So there we go. So it works for uh, WordPad, but didn't work, work for Word. So it's not really you know, doing exactly what it says for all new documents. And let's do one more here. Let's go to Photos. Dot F and apply. All right, so now we have this photo here. Let's uh, edit it. And let's save a copy. So now you can see it wants to save it in that uh, new F drive, so we'll save that. Go back up here. Let's go to the F drive.
and there we go. So you can see it worked for that. So it's kind of iffy as to uh, you know which of these things it'll work for. So documents that worked okay for WordPad, but not for Word. Uh, apps it didn't work at all for anything, at least from the Microsoft Store. And if you if you try and install like a regular program, like Photoshop or whatever, it's still going to want to default to the C drive anyways. So this is why it just says just for apps. But at least on this computer, it errored out. And uh, photos seem to work okay. And, and then there's obviously these other things here too. So like once again, you know, it's up to you if you want to try this. If it's really worth doing, we have another video on how to save the uh, or change the default locations for your all your documents and pictures and music to point to a different drive so that way when you save to your my documents or documents it'll automatically save to a different drive it'll, it'll, but everything looks the same so you could check that out if you want and then as for this so it's up to you if you want to try it but just be prepared if you do the apps or actually let's let's change everything back and see if we could uh, clear out that disk again without having to format it so everything's back on C. Got this disk here. Let's just see if we can do a shift delete. So once again, couldn't delete all the files. So we have to go back into disk management and format it. But you know, if you have other stuff on that drive, obviously you're not going to want to format. This is just an empty drive, so we're able to do this to get around it. So we got to do the force format again. And now if we go back in, it's clear, but like I said, I'm stressing once again, do not do this format thing. If you have existing data, you know, on this drive from before that you want to keep, otherwise it's going to wipe everything out. I'm just using it as an example because it was an empty drive to begin with and it's one way to kind of clear all the, uh, stuff off there that you couldn't get to. But of course you could go through and take ownership of files if you know how to do that and then delete them that way. So that's another way around it if you do have files on there. Okay, so once again, you know, check this out and give it a shot. And if you like it, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.